This is Lee Stranahan, and I pride myself on doing factual, accurate reporting, which is why this smear piece in the New York Times called Fake News Turned a Small Town Upside Down that features me needs to be debunked. Here's, here's me. And I want to go to something specific in this video. I'm going to do a series of short videos about that. In the article, it says he, referring to me, wrote that local businesses received government kickbacks for employing foreigners instead of Americans. Stranahan did not cite any evidence of this, and it is untrue according to the State Department of Labor. Well, one thing. First off, they never asked me. that. I talked to a fact checker three times. They never asked me about that. So let's go over this, shall we? This is the employer's handbook from the Idaho Refugee Group. You can find it in a link I'll show you in a second. And you'll notice that they say the following tax credits and incentives may be available to you, including on-the-job training. That's not just available to refugees, but including this one here, Idaho Center for Refugees. When funding permits... We provide on-the-job training support for businesses when hiring refugees. That is exactly what I was talking about. So there's the evidence that they said I didn't provide, but I actually did provide it in articles like this that I wrote at Breitbart, where I quote, the way I got to this link was I went to my own article. So I've talked about the financial incentives here. This is how the New York Times lies to you. They say that I didn't provide evidence. They say that it's untrue. It's clearly true, and I provided evidence. We'll see you in the next video.